Cornwall. We've come to Cornwall and this is going to be a little secret vlog that's not going to go out for a while so hey future us. <laughs> um, we are doing some viewings because the secret's out. I don't know when we're posting this and how much we're saying to you but um, we're moving to Cornwall and we are doing some viewings and this is our first viewing and the road that we're driving along right now is very pretty so I'm very excited. We have two viewings today and then we have another three or so maybe four on Saturday so this has all kind of been very spontaneous and it's all very last minute we made the decision the other day and I was just like look let's just go down to Cornwall and do some viewings because I can't sit and wait any longer and so we did and how excited are you hang on sorry we're there's some cyclists so we're going around a corner just wait wait till you get around the corner wait, yeah. um, um. But yeah, it's really exciting. Alex is concentrating on driving. Um, I'll be with you in a moment. But it is very exciting because it was kind of spontaneous and we've been going back and forward about moving to Cornwall for a while now. And when we kind of finally were like, right, we'd want to do it. I couldn't sit and write in any longer and yeah. wait. So You're a very impatient person. I'm not impatient. I just like, I just think what's the point of waiting? We might as well just do it now. Have we driven through the village of Brighton yet? Yeah, we're, this is the weirdest thing. We're literally about to drive through a village called Brighton. Like, what same the hell? Spelling. The same yeah. spelling. I feel like it's meant to be. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to show all the houses to you. So, we probably won't upload this video until we actually like have a house and we're like moving. But um, I just want to have it because I want you guys to experience it and watch it because it's a bit fun, isn't it? I would want to see all this stuff. But yeah. yeah. Ah! So you can get a feel for the area. Mhm. Mm Huh? So we are in Truro now. We weren't allowed to take pictures or video. We asked her and she said... We asked her and she said um, they weren't keen on it, but I understand. It's as wide as the lens goes. Yeah, it's so, so small. We've got our one. Canon G7X back. Yeah. It was really cute. The village was very cute. And um, it has potential to be done up. Um, it has everything yeah. you need. It's literally 10 minutes from Truro. I liked it a lot. Um, Truro like is said, the main it, it, city, by the way. It didn't have like the wow factor, but but I'm not sure that everything, anything will, will for the, yeah for, for our budget. Can, yeah, the wow factor um, you can put into it. Yes, but the only, and I did. The main, I was pleasantly surprised by it. Actually, yeah. yeah. The main issue I have is that it did feel a little bit on that street that there was mainly old people living there, <laughs> which I don't mind. But I also am still young, so I still want to feel like I'm in a um, young vibe. Yeah. Well, we went to the pub. Pub so was to really like nice. Sit down and drink, and and that's always good to talk to people in the village. And she said, "Oh, we've had a lot of new people coming in lately." I think because we drove through the town and back, and there was a lot of new houses being built on the other side of town, which I guess would probably attract younger people because mm -hmm. they're probably aimed at like first-time buyers. Plus, like it's a ten-minute. Like if if you worked in Truro, moved to there, yeah, that's probably quite common. So they're probably, probably cheaper. There probably are more younger people than we maybe but imagine. I mean the street we live But for that street, yeah. Like, that street, there was lots of old people. There was people. like a, an old lady sitting And this is not me hating on old people. I love old people. But like, when you're young, you want to feel like you're living in a young yeah, yeah. area, you know? We're going to go get food at the Cornish Vegan. Yay! Feels so good. You lying here next to me. Can you get to look at the halls all the time? Sure. It's a nice little bedroom, isn't it? That bit's fun. This is so cute. What could you do with it though? Nothing, just look at this little corner. Put some candles in it. Very, very cute. Maddie's makeup corner. <laughs> Maddie, do you want to 
leave a message on the chalk? No. No. <laughs> So it's Saturday now and we are doing a second day of viewings and we have just arrived to our first one which used to be a post office it's pretty cute isn't it? I'm tired. <laughs> Cute little okay. kitchen. Yeah, well, it's good to have. Well, the lounge with weird storage area in the cupboard. Oh, is this a cupboard? Ah, oh, yeah, it's huge. It's a nice big lounge, isn't it? Yeah, really great size. Fireplace. So you get the warmth yeah, from that upstairs yeah. as well. So. Oh, this is nice and big. It is. It is nice and big. Oh, yeah. Like the floor. nice. Oh, wow. Seem to have lost Alex. Where's Alex? Well this is good. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> oh look they obviously do yoga in here. Yeah. Alex look. I feel like I would get on with people who live here. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just come out of our first viewing. I know we didn't really do much debriefing the other day um, but just to sum up the other day the two properties we looked at were great, very lovely and definitely contenders and things to consider. The one we just looked at, it's like the perfect little cute house as you saw, um, but what you probably didn't see is the fact that it's on a very busy road. Um, it's not busy today because it's Saturday, but I know this road and I know that it's busy. because it's Even so today. Yeah, even so today it's kind of busy. Yeah. It's the sort of house, if it was plonked somewhere else, it would be perfect, but yep. also it would be a lot more expensive. Yep. Um, but I love the character of it, love the size of the rooms. So I think that's the first one we've seen. So the ones on, on uh, Wednesday, they weren't a no or anything. They were kind of like a maybe. Whereas this one, I think it's a no. Yeah. There's not enough for me to be like, yeah. Yeah. Which, because on, on the face of it, it looked really good. Yeah. And then and that's why you go to a viewing, because you yeah. learn all these things. Yeah. So we're off to the next one, which is actually my favourite on paper. Sorry about the lighting, The it's a crazy lighting so day. Your, your type on paper? Um, it's my favourite, yeah, my type on paper. It's my favourite one on paper and the G7X is broken. Why is it broken? Because it's not focusing, there we go. Yeah, it's my favourite one on paper. I'm very excited about it because it has so much potential to extend out the back and make a beautiful kitchen. Um, and you will probably see that because at the minute I think out the back it has a utility room and bathroom um, which I think is a pointless waste of space and you could get, move the kitchen and make an extension out the back and make skylights and a huge kitchen and knock the wall down in the garden to make a really long garden and um, just move things around a bit and then it's got four bedrooms upstairs and you could probably make the bathroom bigger and sacrifice a bit of space in one of the bedrooms because there's only an ensuite upstairs so I would make the bedroom bigger and then um, have access to it through the landing. But you'll see it in a minute, and it's my favorite. But it might I might go there and hate it when we see it, but I'm very excited about it, and it kept me awake last night. Yeah. <sighs> ah! There you are. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you mind your head, Alex. It's okay, just pay you there. I was at the market one. last week and literally the beans it is six foot one because I'm six foot and yeah. I one inch clearance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Have you got clearance on that one? Probably not. No. no. <laughs> Does that bother you? Not really. <laughs> Wow. 
Do you reckon could you just put an extension here and make this the kitchen? That's what I'll do, yeah. Because then you could keep this lovely wall. Oh, thank you. This cute. Get rid of this wall. Yeah, get rid of the wall. Oh, look. And there's like, we can make a proper. And there's a little shed. Yeah. And there's a little adventuring little garden here. Look, Charlie. Oh, look, you can park. You can park here too. You can park here. Look, cute little shed. I love this house. Do you like it? Yes. It's just a bit, the only thing is I, I knock my head. <laughs> it's for little people. Cause look, stand there Alex. This is the only, oh God. Was that a pretend? <laughs> So we've kind of thought, well I've fallen in love with this one. Oh gosh, where's it gone? What are your thoughts? Let me uh drive. Alex is very quiet. He doesn't he's not impulsive like me and he's not emotional like me, so he will be like, yes, I like it, but he will also be calm. Look at the back of that car. It's got palm pots on it. Um the village that this place is in, obviously I'm not gonna tell you the village for privacy reasons, but um this village is so so cute oh it was really zoomed in i did wonder um the village is perfect it's so cute community feeling there was a saturday market on there's a wellness center that has reiki and mindfulness and meditation and yoga there's a real community feel here and the funny thing is there are we have four viewings today in this village and it's really weird because that wasn't on purpose it's just that our price range of the type of house we're looking for for some reason there's loads in this village it's also Cool. Really Lots good because it's um newer houses there. Yeah, it's quite a big village. It's a big village. It's got community feel. It's close to Truro, Falmouth, and Red Ruth, which are Truro is the capital city in Cornwall. If you're not familiar with Cornwall, and then uh, Falmouth and Red Ruth are some of the bigger sort of towns in Cornwall. And I really love Falmouth because I'm I kind of had lots of friends there when I was younger, and I used to go there a lot. And yeah, the house also was just so perfect. It has so much potential and it has so much potential to make a big kitchen and the garden was cute and it was on a very cute road because we're going to be having Zeus as well. So um, yes. we have to think about the road it's on. It was on a quiet road and there's like countryside for him to be. This is it. These are the houses we're viewing next. Oh, these right. blue ones. Good. Yeah, these, these are the ones we're viewing next. Okay, so we're going to the next viewing and there's two houses next door to one another and they're both on sale, That's so. That's ginormous, is that split in two? Yeah, so I'm feeling uh, pretty excited, but also I'm getting like cold feet. I was just having a discussion. I was getting like cold feet about moving to Cornwall and being remote again, because I had a lot of my life being remote and like I associate it with like stressful times of my life. Before I started a YouTube channel, I was living in Truro, hated my job, didn't have any money, was really just unhappy and I kind of like worry. I think that I associate that with that and I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. There's also a lake here. But yeah, I think it's the, the plunge, the how quickly this decision has been made and how quickly things have changed for us because up until literally like a month, ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, we were gonna be buying a house in Brighton. So it was a huge like 360. Mm. And I'm sure we've explained this in another video um, because obviously this is gonna be coming out later. Um, but it was a huge change and, but fundamentally we wanna be by family and my family's here and one of my best friends is here and like, it just it makes sense and we can travel when we're well, in brighton you're like your family. yeah that's 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 another bad thing that alex was obviously concerned about is brighton is really close to alex's family in surrey and if we move down here we're not as close to his family but it's it's one of those things that you have to think about and we have a certain budget and you can get so much more for your money down I like, here i like cornwall and also like your cornwall. family love cornwall and are thinking about moving here yeah. one day so it kind of and makes the thing sense we've got to consider is you're worried about being remote Mm. Um, but we like we haven't really taken like made much of being close to London and when no. we say we're close to London sometimes it would take two and a half hours to drive three hours last London. time we went to London and it's about I, four I hours see, into I, London from I see Cornwall. my parents but you know sometimes you see them like once a month so like we can still do that yeah, with I intend on going up once a month sometimes I feel like it's not even that much no and we would definitely intend to be up that much. Yeah, we would. Yeah. So we would make a priority. If we're going to come down here to be with my family, we'd make a priority every month to come see your family. And like, 
that would be if you book something it in advance, that you do. We could, we could definitely get the plane to London. And I also really want to make sure I don't lose connection with like London and friends I've made, and yeah. to make sure I go to things and do things and keep myself like a part of that. Oh, and it's so nice. The roads are so it's nice. It's so and nice. Cycling. And, and yeah, we miss the cycling in Cornwall because Brighton's <laughs> not great for that because there's lots of roads and cars and yeah. also just have a sense of community. You were in the saying, like, oh, would I want to be in like a town or city? In, or Truro mm. is a city. Yeah. But we'd have the same issue with like yeah, cycling. Yeah, you're right. It'd be like 15 minutes to get out anywhere near yeah. the countryside. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, lots of decisions. But that house on paper was literally perfect the only thing that was bad about it was the low ceilings and the low doorways and some oh look there's a cyclist here it's like the fifth cyclist we've seen yeah there's low doorways because alex is six foot three and i'm five foot eleven that's kind of an issue but we could probably change that potentially we're that's going to the big, lake right now by the way an issue for me is other things like being on a main road or mm -hmm. as far as houses go this pretty much ticks all the boxes and has so much potential to uh, like as an investment yeah. to make it, it so incredible good space at the back yeah like you yeah. could really we, we would intend on uh like i said making the kitchen really big at the back um, you, you were saying that the second one we saw on the first day yeah you were saying wow the garden's amazing yeah it was but it wasn't very wide it was long no, it was long but this but one was, was actually this was a nice wide garden in terms of like square yeah foot you you could imagine yourself having same. like a barbecue out there. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and having like veg patches. Oh, there's another cyclist. Another cyclist. So many cyclists. <laughs> and our, this, the, we got loads of leaflets from the, the town set, the town hall. Oh, yeah. There was a library there, and there was loads of leaflets for all the different um, stuff they do. Oh, here's the lake. I'm not going to show you because I want to keep anonymous where we are. But like, there's a lake here. Ah. Oh. Which means it's like lovely to if we get a dog because we want to get a dog. And there's like water sports and stuff here in the summer, which is great. Lakeside and there's, pizzeria. There's another pub. Yeah. So there's um, a pub in the village and then there's another pub here. There's a pub and a pizza restaurant by the lake. Wow. Wow, oh, I like this a lot. Yeah. It almost seems too good to be true, you know? Yeah, and the place that we, we just saw, <laughs> he said it's been on the market since February and there's not really been crazy amounts of interest. Mm. So like, with well, that, that was what I was worried about. I was worried about we'd be under push to like, you know, compete for it but actually i don't think that would be a problem and it seems that if we wanted to go for it we could make an offer and um well he said it was 200 years old yeah 200 years old and how I was cool thinking, is that oh, is it listed is there going to be issues with, no like, extending no it's it not anything? listed yeah. which is kind of the best of both worlds yeah <sighs> and it just got a new boiler what are your thoughts which one are you liking so far i'm sure this is going to be a very long video but who cares which one are you enjoying let me know if you think that this one <laughs> well, I know, you have to vote at the end of the, all of these viewings yeah. which one you reckon we go for if we go for any of them, that is. Oh, it's like water sport. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Keeps on going. Amazing views. Whoa. 